Hello and welcome to your sixth R tutorial video. This is going to be a quick video. I'm going to show you a possible problem that can happen to you if you're a beginner to R and you're not aware of this uh, possible uh, problem. I'm just going to go ahead and type it out and then I'll explain what the problem is in a minute. Let's say that I wanted to create a sequence of numbers from 3 to 30 counting by 3. So in order to do that I would use the sequence function. I'm going to start off at the number 3, so I say from equals 3. I want to go up to the number 30, 2 equals 30, and I want to count by, uh, by 3. Now let's say I didn't have that other right parentheses on the other side. I'm going to execute that. I'm going to show, and then what we can see down on the console is it looks like our command got executed, but underneath we don't get the answer we get this plus sign here and here's the reason why you can write so, uh, you can write a command in R using several lines and when the command isn't completed it'll have a plus sign and that's R's that's R's way of R's way of telling you well I can see you typed part of a command but it's not quite done yet you're missing your parentheses or something like that Please tell me what the rest is, and then I'll continue with the calculation. And in here, uh, R's interpretation is correct. We can see that we had a left parenthesis, but we did not have a right parenthesis. R is waiting for the rest of the instructions before it executes. Uh, in order to do this, you can do one or two things. You can either complete the parentheses up top and send it to the console, or you can type the other parentheses directly in the console. In this situation, I'm going to go... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and send the right parentheses from the source down to the console. And once we add that parentheses, we can see the code executes just fine. So just a situation to be aware of if you forget parentheses or if you have an incomplete command on top. Uh, R will have that plus sign on the console. It'll look like it's not working, but really what it's doing is it's waiting for you to tell, uh, tell it the rest of the commands. So hopefully it doesn't trip you up and you're aware of that problem uh, uh, from here on out. And I'll see you guys next time.